to do. Is, is is our guest? Is he is he back there? Is he is he woke, Raj? Is he woke? Because I know it's a little late. He's not usually up this late. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Right. Say his name, ladies man. and gentlemen. Returning to the Flex Zone podcast is a Flex Zone original. He is my good friend. I've known this man for. Come to think of it, D, I thought about that. I've known you for over ten years. Man. Long you and Raj. Now that I think about it, for over ten years, the man who introduced me to the Flex Zone crew and helped make this day possible. He puts the D in DMV Dosport Net, your home for the highest high school sports action in the DMV and beyond. He's up late because he's on vacation. He's going to drop truth bombs. He's bringing the heat. He's bringing the energy. And ladies, love the D. Your friendly neighborhood. One, the only cousin D returns to the Flex Zone podcast. D, what's up, my brother? Diamond Rogers, good in the hood, gentlemen. Good. Episode 455. We'll be getting ready to do the Ravens post game coming up. Ho- hopefully, we beat the Chiefs. I'm hoping and praying. I'm hoping the offensive line ain't looking too good, but we're going to be all right. We're going to be all right. It feels good to be back. I'll be with you Wednesday night, too, for AW uh, joint. We all doing AW Wednesday, I guess. We all doing- yes, uh, last week. It turns out I couldn't do it. It was a good show, but all in was fine. I think this week sh- should have some things to talk about. So we got to be oh, glad yeah. to have you. Yeah, no doubt about it, man. Check out Dine Sporting Net. Took a little break here. We're coming back September the 6th. Need a little break. Pause for the cause. We got a lot to cover, a lot going on. Dine Sporting Net on the Twitter. Dine Sporting Network on good old Twitch, Threads, Instagram. Facebook, and of course, the Mothership YouTube, 3,400 plus subscribers strong. We appreciate you all out there. Appreciate Shout you. out to you, D, brother. I know you've been working hard. Congrats to you on that, my brother. Appreciate make sure it, man. Out. Let, let's get it on for the late night people. How was, how was it? You were down in, you want to tell the people you were down in D.C. today? Now. Yeah, I was watching the Nationals and the Yankees tonight. Uh, Nationals didn't help the Orioles out any. Um, they're a little feisty bunch. They're third, um, the top prospect for the Nationals, third best in baseball, Mr. Dylan Cruz. You know, he, he went over the night he fought. Yankees defense is great, man. Judge had like two amazing catches. One of the other outfielders had an amazing catch. Shortstop was amazing. It was a 5-2 final, but we need we need some help. You know, it's only two games, so the Orioles get consistent. Yankees don't. It'll go back and forth. It's gonna come down to that last series in New York for the for both of them teams, I, I think. Well, D, we appreciate you being here. We are starting things off. D, since you last left us, we get a little political here on the Flex Zone Podcast with the 2024 election coming up. D, I'm gonna go to you first because I know Raj has a lot to say. He wants to talk about this. It's in the thumbnail. He he has his thoughts, and uh, you have your thoughts. We all have our opinions and thoughts, and we all respect each other for that, D. From your vantage point, because we was going back and forth in our group chat that we share, how do you feel the <laughs> DNC, Democratic National Convention from Chicago, did did it help Kamala Harris and your boy uh, Tim Walls, uh, did you say Sleepy Walls, Wednesday Night Walls, and their campaign for presidency against your boy Pumpkinhead 45, Donald Trump? Yeah, you know, in a sense of voting, I'm an independent. Both parties is full of you-know-what. Go right in your toilet and see. They're both full of it. Um, the Democratic one, they wanted to be the entertainment capital. They brought out all the all the stars, all the performers, Little John, um, making the porn stallion. Um, Stevie Wonder, he was blind, but he was there too. He could see, I guess. Um, damn, who else was there, man? Uh, Sheila E. I mean, they brought them all out, man. Brought them all out. All the speakers. You know, the Obamas can speak, man. They're, they're good speakers. Clinton is a good speaker still. Hillary sound all right. You know, I think Hillary would be mad. Deep inside, if Carmella wins, and she had no chance against Trump eight years ago. Well, that's for another show. Another show. Um, thought Carmella did a, a good job. Her sister, they really talked about her, her personality, how she was. Um, policy. Still got a ways to go there. They didn't talk much about that. She's supposed to be having to sit down interview here before, I guess, this week or first week of September. She needs she needs to do that. She's been in the closet for three years, and it's important for her to get out the closet. Not that closet, Bobby, not that closet, but you haven't seen a lot of her. So I think in her case, she has to get out there. She just 
He just finish him, Daddy. Oh boy. Oh, they finished Biden all right. They finished him off. I tell you that. Finished him off. Um, we kind of know what Trump pumpkin head is. You know, he's gonna speak his rhetoric, he's gonna do his rhetoric stuff. The economy was good before the pandemic. He handled the pandemic poorly. That is that was clear. Um, but we know what he's gonna be about, just about. We kind of know it. With Carmela. Yes, she's tied with the, the administration now. She is the vice president. But again, we haven't seen much of her in three years. We usually see something of the vice presidents a bit. She's been the one we kind of haven't seen much of. So she still got a lot to prove. Waltz, they kind of, you know, they're the same age, by the way, guys. You couldn't tell, but they're all the same age. You couldn't tell. And um, Waltz's speech was a little boring Wednesday night, to be honest with you. But he had so many great speakers come on before him. Bill Clinton, Wes Moore, Oprah. Oh, yeah, I forgot they, they digged up Oprah, too. Um, so it was a great political popularity contest from the Democratic Party. Republicans, they had their, they had their goofiness. They had their, let's just say, smooth tellers or a.k.a. lie tellers like uh, Hulk Hogan. And, and 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 Amber Rose, which is wild within itself. Um, oh Lord! <laughs> hey, right quick before Roger go, I didn't know that Nancy Pelosi still still could speak that way, man. She she looked like a corpse. I didn't I didn't expect her to be speaking the way she spoke. Oh. So I commend her. I commend her. Go hmm. Google it. Oh my God! Tell him, JD. Tell him. Watch, I know you wanted to talk about this, brothers. We see, as D said, the entertainment capital, <laughs> DNC, Democratic National Convention, brother. What's your thoughts, brother? Like I told you before, guys, I was going to sit there and I was going to watch all four days of the goofiness. And I did. I sat and I watched all four days of the DNC. And, and I must tell you, it was a shit show. <laughs> yes, indeed, it was a shit show from people coming out with ALS trying to speak to rolling out Jesse Jackson in the oh, wheelchair. God, I was like, my goodness, what 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 lengths are we going to go to to try to get the people to vote for Kamala? And my goodness, it was a huge Trump bash fest for the entire four days. Like every other word that came out of every speaker's mouth, Trump this. Trump that Trump hates this Trump hates that it was ridiculous it was crazy um but like you said D a lot of performers were there Stevie Wonder he was there I love Stevie so I can't really say nothing bad about Stevie but um the Carmen was there Lil John was there Pink was there Beyonce was supposed to have been there but she didn't make the trip but it, it was a bunch of foolishness, man. It really was. I wasn't moved by really none of the speeches that much. Obama was very slick, as always, sounding like The Rock, as he always does. Michelle had a lot of hidden messages in her speech. If you go back and watch, she was telling the people, like, look, you're going to vote for her. We're not giving you nothing, but vote for her anyway. That type of thing. Um, Kamala herself, I mean, her speech was... I mean, let me, let me let me say she did look very presidential. OK, I will give her the credit that she actually looked like a presidential candidate. But she was very scripted, didn't really say too much of anything. I was looking for a little bit more policy. You know what I'm saying? Because we didn't really get anything from her on that point. She sprinkled it here and there, but she didn't really say what she's going to do for the American people. But it was a bunch of foolishness, man. And then and then hold up. You forgot one thing, D. Uh, Scandal was there. Oh, uh, yes. Kerry no, Washington. Scandal and uh, the president was there. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Scandal. Goldwyn. They, they were there. They oh, were, you know, being very goofy with the camera. They was, they was, you know, trying to take selfies with the crowd and stuff. And it, it just, it was, it was extremely crazy. But uh, oh, this guy right here. <laughs> Got the whole scene in his head, don't he? Hey, sometimes you gotta let your soul flow, baby. You know what I'm saying? His slow, his oh, soul was blowing. Uh, I'm about to go rob something. Yes. Y'all know me. I'm dangerous. That brother, that brother, hairstyle is dangerous. But uh, but yeah, man, it, it was a, it was a goof fest. 
Um, but I did enjoy it. I'm not going to say a lot of you. I enjoyed every bit of it, especially watching the Republicans watch the DNC as they were, you know, <laughs> they were slotting it as well. But um, but yeah, man, I I don't I don't I don't have any faith in Kamala Harris. I'm just going to say I'm just going to be honest with you. I, I don't have any faith in her. I think this is all goofy. This is all scripted. I think that um, she's doing really no interviews. You said D, she's going to do her first interview on what, NBC? This coming Thursday, I believe. Or something. ABC? I think ABC. ABC, ABC. It's, going to be a, it's going to be a network where she's going to be coddled, so they're not going to go after her. But, I mean, she's she's just pretty much hiding, hiding, you know, in the shadows, as she's been doing the past three and a half years. And I granted, she's the vice president. President, that's what they kind of do. They hide in the shadows, but I'm just not feeling it, man. There's no authenticity to her, none, none whatsoever. Now with Trump, you get a lot of authenticity from him. You get the same rhetoric from him. You get you get a bunch of goofiness from him, but you you know what you're going to get from him. I don't know what I'm going to get from Kamala Harris every time she speaks or she steps on the stage or you know or or people are coming behind her or whatever i i mean it i don't know i don't know to what i don't know what to roger, roger i'm gonna say this to agree with your point and then you go back but i'm tired of hearing about her as a prosecutor man she's supposed to be the president she's gonna be the president of the united states we know what she can do as a prosecutor we get that we want to hear some policies we want to hear what she's going to do as a president she's not prosecuting trump she's running against him as a president and not just that man it's like if you, even if you ask a question, because I've seen a lot of people ask questions. I've seen um, just just uh, the other day, uh, Jermaine Dupree, he pretty much asked the same question. He was like, OK, you know, and he talked to her. He actually talked to her a couple of times and asked her, like, what is she, she going to do for black people? I mean, she probably I think she just laughed it off. And then when he asked it on his Instagram page, People, black people started attacking him, like Roland Martin. Roland Martin just started attacking him on his Instagram page. Brother, you should have called me before hey. you go out there and ask this foolishness. I'm like, what? Hey, 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 Roland, you don't want to do that. You got caught the last time doing that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He, did. he did get caught. He almost got caught up at the DNC on Monday, but that's a whole nother story. But, um, but yeah, man, it's just like black people attacking black people over her. You know, talking about her race. Is she black? Is she Asian or is she what? I mean, I don't really care what color she is or what nationality she is. Can she do the job? And I don't I, I don't think so, because one, she's the borders are. And two, she's been screwing up the border. And three, we have a, a bunch of illegal immigrants that are here that should not be here, but they're taking up space. They're taking up resources. They're paying a bunch of money to them to be here for what reason uh, maybe for november who knows but all i know is the job that she said the job that she was assigned to do she didn't do it very well and i just i just i don't have any faith in this woman man i don't i have no faith in kamala harris oh i'm sorry my bad kamala her name is kamala because they did it they had that little thing with the two girls the two little girls her nieces they, they corrected everybody so it's comma, la, 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 or whatever. Kamala V, as I call it, Kamala. But anyway, it's Kamala. I'm not feeling Kamala Harris. I'm not feeling the the, the, uh, the Democrats at this point. And they put on a pretty good, goofy show. Um, but was it entertaining? Yes, it was. It was just as entertaining as the RNC, which also had a bunch of con artists that were trying to go for Trump. Right. But it is what it is, man. I see Dre is in the chat. Hopefully he has something to say on this subject. And please, Dre, please do not, you know, kiss up too much to, to come a la 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 Veep. Is Dre ready to come up? I think uh, Dre, give me the thumbs up just so I know you're good, brother. I know you. Okay. He's yeah, backstage. You know, he, gotta get a part he is of this ready. The OTC of the Flex Zone podcast, the tribal truth, the prodigy side, the savior of misbehavior, Mr. 258, the super producer. Mr. Boston Hall University, Mr. Morgan State University, the A-lister, the phenomenal one. He is the one, the only, put your hands together, for the one and only, Drizzy Dre. What's up, my brother? Happy Monday, Dre. What is going on, my guy? W-A-H minus. <laughs> Happy Monday, everybody. And you know what? I put <laughs> Oh, 
Uh, you know why I came? I came at the right exact time. Yeah. Acknowledge me. Who's house? Who? <laughs> I appreciate that, man. Appreciate that. Hey, D, just just for you, man. Oh Lord! Right, that's right, that's right. Our king, baby. Oh, Our oh, king. Both games and then the old game you know game right. for greatness. I mean, I mean, it's the off season. Let him rest. He's trying to rest. He just had Did a long. Oh, Rod's rest. putting his hard right. things. Oh Lord! But you oh, know, you know what? I, I came on at the exact right time. I hear y'all talking about the the DNC and how goofy that was, but the RNC was more goofy. Uh, I felt like the DNC actually uh, had a pretty good convention, uh, inspiring, motivating, and getting people oh, ready oh, you, to vote. Are you inspired, Dre? Uh, I, I mean, how, how do you not get inspired by, by the song Freedom by Beyonce and Kendrick Lamar? How do you not get inspired when you hear the, the speeches from the Obamas? How do you not get inspired by hearing Kamala, get her name right, Kamala, not la 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 la, we're not doing any of that. We're going, we're going to put some respect on her name and we're going to make sure that this woman gets voted into the White House when it's time to go vote. Don't be goofy, you Trump supporter. And, and, make, sure, and make sure that you sit over there and actually vote. Black folk, vote, get registered because you know what time it is. We've seen... 45 be up in there goofy back in 2016. Do not uh, trump this. Let's not make the same mistake. Let's do what we need to do and go ahead and get Kamala Harris back in there so that way she can go from vice president to the first black woman president of the United States of America. This guy right here. <laughs> Spoken like a true democratic show. I am democratic. What are you talking about? I know about? you are. <laughs> Clearly. Proud, proud Democrat. You should, you should and you live in a democratic state. You, you live in a democratic it. state, though. What happened? You live in a democratic state. Sadly, we do. We do live in a democratic state. Sadly. Sadly. Yes. But luckily, luckily, though, they're not as goofy as they used to be. Wait a minute. And what what are the Republicans? Are they not goofy? Are you have you not seen that that goofball down in Florida? I would love to live in Florida. Shit. <laughs> Give me. Listen. I would love here. to live in Florida, sir. I don't I don't know what you got in your drink, man, or, or what's I'm going on in your me. food or oh, something. No. But, this, yeah. but this brother no. right here, I don't even want to call you a brother right now. Say, I am say, a brother. Say, 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 I nah, no, nah, you, 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 you a colonizer. That's no. that's what. <laughs> oh, wait a minute. <laughs> wait a minute. I'm, going, I'm going Kendrick Lamar right now. You ain't no, you ain't no colleague. You a colonizer Damn right now. Damn it! I'm Talking a brother, that okay? And I like what I like. And right now, I'm not liking what I'm seeing from the DNC. I'm not liking what I'm seeing from Kamala Harris or Kamala. So or what did you like from the RNC then? I'm not you like Hulk Hogan being up there. That's yeah, what you I like. Like, Hogan like a show. There. Yeah. What you was doing fireworks back then, man? If you want to show, then that's what the RNC was. It was both of them. You gonna sit over there and God bless the USA, huh? Both of them were goofy. They Why don't we go ahead and get you a, a, a guitar and, and uh, a, a big cowboy hat while you at it too, so that way you can be up there <laughs> with Trump and whatnot. Oh, you talking about um what was that that sheriff name? I forgot the sheriff, the dude <laughs> what are you that you talking about? But he was yeah, he was but he wasn't there the last time. Over there with Dana White and them. Oh Might yeah, Dana White is cool. Dana White is cool. Let me look, look. Okay, look. Did you not see Carrie Washington? Yes. Bro, I, I do not want to see her hair, her hair tie like that no more. I don't want to see that no more. Please you don't get on this hair. woman about her hair. Please don't work. Please do not wear your hairstyle like look, that. Look, don't don't get us canceled don't out here that. talking about a black woman's hair. Did hey. somebody say something about uh Dana White? Yeah, I did. Oh, whoa, whoa, oh, watch out. oh, you make it slap. Oh, whoa, watch. <laughs> Oh, whoa, again, whoa, Dana, calm down, brother. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah, right. leave your wife out of this. The family show, the family show. Out of this. Okay, yeah. all right. Man, this, 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 oh, no, wait a minute. No this, this guy, man, I don't know what he's doing right now. Check this out. Oh, when, when, is, when, is, when is your girl going to actually start sitting down with real people doing real interviews? When are we going to have that, Dre? There's a whole presidential debate September 10th. No, besides that, when is she going to actually sit down and do interviews and get asked hard questions besides that? 
Bro, she just got the nomination not too long ago. When has she had time? She's got to go campaign. Whose fault is that? Whose fault is that? It ain't her. It's, clearly, it's not her fault. It's not her fault. But, it's not her fault. But I'm just saying. But I mean, under the circumstances, what what do you really want her to do? And then if you do interviews I, with Trump, what does Trump really say? I, well, you talk about these interviews. Is, what does but, Trump yeah. really say? Does he, he doesn't what, even answer the questions. This All you got to do is just go back to NABJ. He didn't answer a damn question. Yes, he did, actually. This man that, did more that, tap dancing than the late Gregory no, Hines. But no, well, look, Dre, at least he was there. The at least he was there. The at that. That's, that. That's right, Dre. That's right, dude. He was there. He was, he was there. That's the point. He was there. She did not show up. She's she's supposed to be black, right? Why wasn't she there? Why wasn't she there? Why she's why is she never there when you need her to be there to answer? She wasn't at NABJ questions. because of a scheduling conflict. And Dre, really where is her policies at, bro? It wasn't. It wasn't on her. And what are you talking about? Did you not hear the speech? She laid out policies and what she intends to do. Oh my goodness, I, bro, that was it. That was like lighthearted. That wasn't like. Fully going into policy, she said. Look, she gave us the runaround. That's what she did. She gave us the runaround. And what has Trump been doing? He's been giving us policy. What policy for himself? Green man put up the policies in one of our in one of our group chats, man. Man, forty five uh, policies are about him and his rich cronies, man. They ain't for you. They ain't for us. The American people. What did Kendrick Lamar say? They not like us. They are like us. Who? Who? All of them. Who like us? Like us. Who no, 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 taxes to be raised, sir? Look, Dre, I'm gonna just say this: the Democratic Party do got some explaining to do because they have not, over the years, kept up their promises to African Americans. That's a fact. Okay. Regardless of what side of the aisle you're on, that is a fact. All right. I'm not. I look. I'm not saying that the party is is right. I'm not saying that they're not exempt of criticism. But what I am saying is that. We cannot have another four years of 45 back in there. We had great years with him. What are you talking about? We, we had great 16, years. 16 to 2020, besides the pandemic, were great years, bro. Yeah, great years of being entertained because he no, kept besides, as a president. He was in the news all the time. I, I don't mean, want my president hey, being hey. an entertainer. I want him to be who he's supposed to be, the leader of the free world. Bro, we made more money under him. Do you not know that? Don't you work for the state of Maryland? I do work for the state of Maryland. You're you right. Didn't, you didn't see your check go up when he got in office? I know I sure did. Wasn't that part of it because we had a Republican governor who who did help? I, now, I will give Hogan credit. He, he did that. But also, didn't that same Republican governor also make it so that way your pension, instead of getting in five, you have to now wait 10 years in order to get that same pension, right? Well, I don't know about that part. Mm-hmm. All I know is when 45 got in office, as soon as he took office, my check went up. Oh, you know, you, you know what? Didn't didn't 45 benefit off of 44, the first black president, Barack Obama? Ooh, Barack Hussein Obama. Who if <laughs> oh, no. I'm pretty sure if, if it was Trump oh. versus Obama, that Obama would have obliter- obliterated him. Probably he probably would have. That's fact. That's fact. He probably would have. I I give you that. He probably would have. He's slick. He's slick enough. He's the Rock. And you talking about the the Barack? The 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 Barack. Forty-five is forty-five is slick. He is forty-five is slick. Barack is uh, slick. No, no, no. To be a politician, they're all slick. It's come out. We gonna see. We, We look. We I can I can be preaching and teaching. But we spent enough time to me, I think, on this on this matter. Uh, we've been trying to have D on for a while, and there's a lot to get to in the sports world. But we, I can preach and teach another time. Don't worry. Hey, hey, hey! September 10th is coming up. We'll be at this again. We'll be watching. We'll be on here watching. So if everybody who's, who's having fun in here, if y'all want to see the, the debate between Trump and Kamala, I, we will be showing it. I, I just need to know. It, uh, the Kool-Aid. What's in the Kool-Aid that they're giving you? Because what you mean? <laughs> you woke up one today, man. Oh. Brother, I woke up. I told you I'm independent. I, I'm I'm not for neither. Independent, part. my ass. I'm in the middle. You <laughs> you want something that Trump is giving you? I don't no, know what not. it is. 
No, I'm not. I don't trust it. I don't trust the Democrats no more, man. I've been off them. Yeah, but you trust 45. Biden, Biden has done not absolutely trust nothing you. for us, bro. DTA, don't said, trust he said, anybody. He told us if we're not... If don't we're trust not black, anybody. <laughs> don't trust anybody. This okay, guy Steve. right here, who okay, my Steve pen Austin. is pointed to, do not trust this mother. Okay, Steve Austin. Okay. All right. But yes, Biden told us that if we don't vote for him, we're not black. Remember? You remember that quote? Wait, uh, you said, Miss um, Harris, can you get a link? Oh, yeah. Okay. Y'all send us a link. Okay. Thanks. Yeah. Did well, let's let's go. Let's let's let's. Well, go ahead, Raj. I'll give you the last word because I want to. I did say the last topic. word. Dre okay. tried to do, do, dodge it. <laughs> he well, tried to well, dodge well, what I just said. Go go ahead because you sent over here like I'm about to run for some type of office. Biden said, <laughs> Biden said, he told us he was like, if we don't vote for him, we're not black. Remember that? You remember that quote? I do remember, and we got him in there. And then yeah, we, we got him in there. Him. What has he done for us? And we also got over the the same well, pandemic. Right. Stop, stop that your guy. Dog. What has, put he us in what has he done because for he us hated so obama so much that he took away all the needed necessities so that way we could avoid a world pandemic at the oh same time goodness. right come on bro since we want to since we want to nitpick let's move on you well, keep let's, ducking let's, and dodging. let's get to the world of sports before we get to that we had a former nfl player making more waves raj did you want to you want to play that clip oh. which which clip you, you want to play your boy mr cameron Oh, oh yeah, we gonna go to that next. Yeah, we can go to that. Let's get the way while we're here. 